I hope you're not adverse to this suggestion. I rather like giving people nicknames. I would call you Miss Warren Ellie. Her first name was Elena, you see. But she got mad at me because of that, too. This girl has no manners, she would always say. She may have a pretty face, but she behaves like a gutter snipe. Not that I'd give a button what she thought. Father was always playing, paying her enough, so I thought it best to make her work her wages. She may have found me irritating, but I certainly was not boring. I suppose it's fine. Then, I can think of a name for you. Yes, it doesn't bother me. Anything would be better than Toma. Well, let me see. Do we hear? Do we hear? Emily? Do we hear? Emily? Amelia? Amelia? Amelia for 100. Emily looks up and down, one finger on her lower lip. Her smile is teasing, and her eyes flash mischievously, like a naughty schoolgirl's in an in, in, in it Blunton story. She'll be talking about condensed milk and tinned sardines next. I'm sure of it. Well, it's true we both do not know one another very well, but that's just the present. I feel that we could become quite close, woohoo, if given the chance. Wink, wink. <laughs> you remind me so much of her, after all. Can it be a mere coincidence? Huh? Um, I thought so from behind, too, when I was staring at your butt. <laughs> but then you turned around and it became clearer than ever. You have her nose, her eyes, maybe even her forehead, too. But it's hard to tell, since it's all covered in air. Well... I look at the ground, suddenly awkward, and dig the tip of my school shoe into the earth. I shift my foot slightly, making a small indentation in the earth. A minute grave for an ant. I don't know if I like being compared to other people. I do that enough myself. Um, even if I do like one of your friends, I don't think I want that name. I was open for a name of my own. Yes, of course! You don't need to worry about that. I would never be so callous as to dress you in the title of another. I apologize if it seemed that way. She does seem sorry too. Truly sorry. Even if you look like her, you are not her. You couldn't be. It's not possible. A sigh. So let me see. A name for you. A name that belongs to you and only you. And I think I have it. From now on, you can be... Verity. Damn! I thought it was gonna be Amelia! Ah, Verity. Verity? Do you like it? It's pretty. Much prettier than me real name. Amelia smiles, her face flushing. Though, once more, it doesn't really flush. I just imagine that if it does. And with happiness. I'm so glad. I thought that Virtue's names might be too ins anachronistic nowadays, and I'm very fond of them. One of my aunts was called Charity, and my grandmother's name was Patience. Not that she was particularly patient. She used to hit me father for the smallest of misdemeanors when he was a young boy. But that was a long time ago. Her face darkens, but only for a few moments. At any rate, I'm curious. Why are you in a gloomy place like this at such an hour, when you should be in school? I, um, I just like graveyards. They're relaxing. Relaxing? That is quite a strange thing to say. Why do you think of that? I, I'm not sure. I just like them. They're nice and quiet and people don't come here much. I mean, they do. They're quiet, too. It's a respectful thing to do. Apart from the local boys who tramp around here, drunk on Friday nights, and peace in the graves and scrawl rude words in them, I glanced in a nearby grave that had Elijah, or Elijah, a pharaoh. Somebody scrawled words across it in black marker pen. God is dead. It seems we have a banks here of our own living in Barrowby. Who would have thought? Toma. And I like thinking of the stories too. Stories? Yes, graves are small and the paper buried underneath them are turned into names and dates. Nothing more. I think there must be more to these people than thought. What were their parents like? What, did they have any siblings? What was their job? Were they happy? What about all the people they met? Whose lives they missed changed? Without even them realizing it. I don't know about these things and I never will. 
It's fascinating, but at the same time, it's a little sad. I blush, me hands hanging limply at me sides. Did I say too much? I might have actually said too much. This is why I don't talk to people in school, other than Addie. It's because I'm weird. I know me fellow classmates, Emily Airgraves and Emily Turner included, would just laugh at me.